I know there's a hereafter because I went downstairs and the first thing my mind thought was, what am I here after? My son told me that joke one time and now it's true. I always am saying, what am I here after again? All right, I got this package and you know, I, I have three um, Timu accounts because my husband needed one and my other email needed one. But look at this one came and it's opened and it has little stuff right here and I, I wonder what fell out. So I'm gonna have to look at everything and if something fell out, I have to report it. What did I buy? Oh, I bought a necklace. Let's see what it is. On all this little stuff, it's just gonna fall out. I've been lost some of the treasures. Okay, what is it of? Uh, oh yeah, I buy these for my son's classroom to give to the little children. This is a horse. It's a unicorn horse in a moon. Cause you know, unicorns are always hoping for the moon. Oh, and I bought these earring backs that are bigger, so they'll hold your earrings up better. And this, they've always had this for a long time on Timu, and I thought, I want one. Not for my phone, but for my little dolls. Look, perfect chair for your Barbie dolls. Sk not the Skipper, the Chelsea doll or something, but it holds your phone. How did they know? I think you didn't get to pick the color. How did they know yellow is my worst color? Nails. These are little nails because I never could find little nails to have them in pictures. You ever that problem? And these are for my son's classroom. And they were like, you know, 10 in a package you could buy for a dollar or something. And here's a ring that I probably won't keep because I like to wear real ring, real jewelry. The diamond's very fake. I'll give it to a granddaughter. Well, you can't see here. And I'm sure it was 67 cents. It's beautiful. And the next thing is uh, these. I bought a bunch of these because I'm gonna give them to my grandkid, little one, little grandkids. And they were on sale. They were a lot more, but now they were like two sixty-five or something. And it has it's of course all plastic, combination safe. And I bought enough for my son's classroom too for the prize. Anyway, they auction off toys. So I wonder how many of them I bought in this order. I can't remember. Oh, and here's another one of these that you throw the balls and it sticks to. That's for his classroom too. And here is a hair clip that I got because I want to be looking romantic when I have a French roll in the back of my hair, a French bun, what's that ever called? Yeah, you untangle those. But it has a little different thing, climpy in the back. So you just slide it in your hair and do this and then it's going to look like, woo. I like it. Don't know if I'll wear it, but I have a lot of things like that. Here's a whole bunch of things that are you don't care about. Oh, you can order zipper repair kits. And just the other day, I had to use one of mine to fix something. And I was, so I ordered some more. And these are, you know, if your pulley comes off your zipper, it's not throwaway. They, they have all the sizes and you get these and then you have a new pulley. You have to open the bottom, slide this in, and you have to sew it back after you do that or clamp it back, staple it or something so it, it won't slide off again. But I like to keep those on hand because I like to repair. Oh, look, how cute. This is a to take and go, your little cars. I got this for my great grandson because he's 18 months, he'll, he'll love to take that with him. But they're really cheap cars. Oh, here's a shirt, a little kid's shirt that was like 250. And I didn't want it to be that scarf fabric or anything. 
Oh, and it's real t-shirt fabric. This will go with the cars for him. And if his mother's watching, this is what I got him for Christmas to go with this. He can wear this shirt and take these cars with him. That'll be cute. And the next thing, it's a surprise. Oh, these pens. I bought them before. And I bought them for the kids, but I tried one. It is the nicest pen. It writes real thin. You know, sometimes we like that real thin tip writing. So I bought some more because I gave all the other ones away. And I only kept one, and now I want those. Those are for me. Because I like a fine tip when I write. And when I open them like this, it's such a surprise. I don't remember what I got. And so I'm showing you first thing, too. They look how nice they didn't want it to get scratched, so they wrap it in paper. Oh, this is you put your phone in, and it has the straps for a purse. Yeah, here's the long strap, and it has even pockets in it. That's nice. And this zipper's for the phone, and it says, Forever Better, originally from fashion. Oh. So... Um, I'll probably give this away for a gift because I don't need it. And it was like two fifty, and I got two of them, one in blue and one in black. I remember that now. Okay. And then here's another one of these. Now this purse, I have one of these, and I do like it. Crossbody purse. This one has a lot of zippers, and it's just... You know, nylon fabric. The zippers are good. It's not lined, of course. You're not going to get lined for that price. Here's this little zipper you could put your coins in. This will fit your phone, unless you have a very large one. It's nice. I'm impressed with this one for that price. It comes in a million different colors. And the strap isn't thin. It's a fatter strap for crossbody. I like it. I might keep that one. That's worth keeping for myself. Oh, another one of these smash and go cars. These I bought for my son too, because I'll show you. I had my older grandson who's <clears throat> 20. He was with me and I'm opening. I said, here, test this. And he did. And so I'm gonna show you. And I said, do you think it's cheap? And he goes, oh, it's pretty good for the price, you know, cause you only paid a dollar. All right, it's like this. I thought it was a transformer you had to put together, but you don't. It hits something and pops up. So those little boys are going to love sliding this, and it will hit the wall and pop up, and then they'll love it. Comes a whole bunch of different colors, and it was like, they're more now, but they were on sale for like a dollar something. Sorry, I didn't look at the price. Here's another necklace. And have you seen these little violins? They were like 40 cents. And it has two pieces. And it could be for Barbie or on a shelf. My dad, he played the violin. If he was alive, I would get him one of those for his collection. He didn't have, but he could. He has real ones. This ring's pretty nice. I ordered it before, and it's like 19 cents. And it is... An amethyst but it looks more believable that's a size six let's see if it's a true yeah it's a true six I would wear that too because it looks believable now this one is a two-piecer you get two for the price of one and it's pretty nice let's see what size I bought it's a size six I try to buy little ones because if I give them to my granddaughters they haven't put on weight yet, so they're still little scrawny people. It feels very cheap. It's not very heavy. And it is not really a white. No one would believe it's a real diamond. But it is pretty cute. But I will give it away because I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't mean to be snobby, but I would, I'm a little more picky than that. And this one is beautiful. And I ordered one like this for me. And I could wear it with this sweater because it's pink. But it's kind of weird, too. I don't know. 
it's the metal feels weird, but it's real pretty pink flower. People do this. Does that help? It doesn't help one bit. Anyway, it's nice. It's cute. A little girl would like it. All right. When I was a little girl, I loved rings. I wanted rings, and I never had them. Another unicorn necklace that is not not in the moon. They were like 27 cents, so I bought a ton of them. Then I bought, I bought a lot of duplicates for my son. Here's another one, a different color for my son's classroom. The toy, they get to prizes in their classroom. And I got another shirt. Oh, good. This one's not weird fabric either. You know, you almost don't want to order some cheap clothes from them because they're that weird fabric. I don't know what it is. Because they say these are polyester, but that's polyester. What The trick is you look at the direct, the, um, the little description. If it says it's elasticity in it, then you know it's stretch. If it says no stretch, then you know it's that scarf kind of fabric. And this is a backhoe. And I don't remember ordering it. <laughs> it's a size. If you want to know the size, it's a 90. I'm sure that's in Chinese size. Because, you know, when they're little, they're a 90, a size 90. How does that mean? More little junkers. Oh, this is a roller for your diamond art. Because I like to do diamond art in the winter when it snows. and I'm. But look, it didn't, you have to have your own handle or something. I guess you don't need a handle. It's rubber, and it twirls nice, and it has a hole in it right here. You could wear it as a necklace, too, because it has a little hole. I don't know why. The Chinese, I guess, invent these things, and they know why they do it. And this is a pair of earrings that are a little strange because they fit around your ear in a... Like this, they trick. They trick you though, because it doesn't really go around your ear. It just goes in front. So that's they're kind of cheap because they were cheap, and that's what they're where they get us, right? They sell us this cheap stuff because then we'll buy a ton of it, and then they make money, and then we get poorer. Are they doing this to sabotage us? Out here in America, here's a gold. I'm sure it's a real gold bracelet oh yeah it's gonna trick everybody it must have been cheap or i wouldn't have bought it all right here's something else this is a clothing item or something like clothing yes and it oh is this it i ordered my husband a suit from Timu, they have men's Sunday suits, black. And I ordered one, I'm so excited. Because all my sisters, husbands, well, we wanna know if their suits are good. My sons, cause they're like $50, you know. And you can get three piece with the vest or two piece suits in different colors. He has to have a three extra large because his measurements. I took his measurements and that's what size I ordered. So, I'm excited to, t and I told him, you're going to try it on and show everybody. And he goes, no, I'm not. I said, yes, you are. He said, no, I'm not. I said, yes, you are. We'll see. I said, I won't put your face in it. Here's something else. Oh, this is a blouse I got. Do you guys save these Ziploc bags? Remember we used to buy these Ziploc bags and we just thought they were the best, most wonderful thing ever? Now we can just get them. Get them. The fabric's not that bad. It's not the scarfy fabric. You know, tie dyes in. And that's V neck. I like V. I didn't have very much purple in my wardrobe. And it looks large enough. I, I ordered a two extra large because my bust is 41 inches. And no, that's, I lied. My bust is 44 inches. My hips are 41. And if you know your measurements, you usually can get the right size. Unless you're thinking, oh, I better size up. No, match the measurements they give you. And this 
I don't think it'll shrink because it looks, you know, it does, it's not all cotton. And it'll match jeans, all my jeans for the winter. And I got purple shoes from Timu coming. So, purple tennis shoe type things. I don't like tennis shoes, but they're... So, I hope that will match. I have a chair over there. Uh, re I had hip surgery, so I had to get a recliner that th throws you up out of your chair, but it's really slow. Just a minute, I'm coming. Anyway, and so it's in my bedroom because I used to have to sleep in it. Because I used to be a cripple, and that hip surgery, I am like 20 years younger now. All right, now here's a different kind. This was like the same price, but much more value for your money than those little ones. This one probably will take batteries. Oh, look at it. Ah, oh, a real safe. I have it upside down. It does take batteries. And you put your dollar in here. And these were like really $10. Here's your combination. I don't really know how it works. And it was like two fifty on sale and usually over $10. So I bought this for my one grandchild that will be the right age for it. Of course, will they have money? Oh, and it does have back here for the pennies and the dollars and the combination. So, I don't know if the teenagers' grandkids would like it, but I know those little ones will like it. So I like that idea. Oh, and then here's another black one of these. Because, oh, and my favorite, I order these every time. They're 50 cents, best wash rags ever. And I divide the colors up to the right rooms. Oh, no. We got a whole bunch of little croppers down here. I hate to waste time showing them. I'm going to look through them. If they're duplicates, I'm not going to show them because I know you don't care. And it's already 17 minutes. And you don't care because you want to move on to someone else's team new haul. It's better than me. All right, we got another. Oh, this is a different necklace. Come on, let's look at it because it's diamonds. I know. It's gonna look real. White gold diamonds. Uh, no, it's gonna be a child one. It's not gonna fake you out. Don't buy it for your girlfriend or your lover. They'll think that you don't really like them. Now this one is looks, what is, did I buy? What did I buy? Oh, these are Christmas ones and they look like real wreaths. If you had a Barbie doll house, Barbie doll house, and you want to decorate it for Christmas, a doll house, this could be the wreath for the door, almost. I like them. They're, you know, good size. They're cheap, but they're they're not going to break, and they will look really good with your red and green Christmas clothes. Now, this bracelet was like, you know, less than 50 cents, and I'm sure it would be real turquoise, not... It's not going to fool anybody that you got it on your Mex on your Arizona trip. I went to Arizona in our motorhome once, and we stopped at the roadside markets. Here's the unicorn bracelet in gold. I mean necklace. That's a necklace. And we stopped at the little roadside places. They they were selling their the in the Indian the American native. Whatever you call those people, the in, I don't know. I don't know what to call. Them. You know what I mean? They were selling their housewares, and they go, "Yes, my grandfather carved this and made it." Of course, I bought it. Guess what? The next booth had the same grandpa making the same stuff. They're lying to you. They bought it somewhere else, and they're tricking you. Mexico does that too. Oh, these. Uh, these are. The, oh, I know what these are. These are the kind of earrings I had them years ago. You put it the the um, chain through your ear, and so then the chain hangs back, and it's a little butterfly. So that is cute, and I might keep them to add to my four thousand other earrings I own. These are the fairy princess little tooth fairy earrings I've already shown on here before. They're cute. 
Do you know what would be cute if your grandchild or your child lost the tooth and then you gave them another unicorn and you gave them those earrings, little tooth fairy earrings to go with their lost tooth. That'd be so cute. Oh, and these are just a bunch of chains because I make necklaces for my son's classroom kids. I made too many though. He's, I'm not gonna have to buy anything for 10 years. I bought him so many. And these chains, you know, you buy them in a bundle. They're not tangled up. They, they um, zip tie them. This little zip tie them together. You know how you can tell it's not real jewelry? I'll tell ya. Oh shoot. Just one minute, I gotta get something. And it's down here on the floor. It's not really on the floor. Oh, I can't get that either. All right. I have to be strong. Okay, I did it. These are magnets. The strong, strong kind of magnets. I forgot what they're called. Nia something. Rare earth magnets. Anyway, this is how you tell if jewelry is crap. If it's real silver, gold, and stuff... You know, a magnet is not going to attract your jewelry. So that's your learning curve on here today. See, like here, my jewelry's all real, white gold. It, magnets don't stick to it. Let's try this. Yep, see, fake. So when you go buy jewelry at the your, your estate sale, take a magnet with you so you don't get ripped off. I learned that trick. I don't remember where. Another unicorn necklace. You think I had a store? I don't. I don't want one either. Oh, and so with those necklaces, oh great. I need gold chains for these, but I did order some gold ones too. But these were like, you know, a whole package of these. And they are to make necklaces and earrings. Aren't they cute? They're a little kitty. They're kitties in all different colors. I ordered the different colors. But they do have... Uh, let's see if that's true. Yes, they do have two of each color. So you can make earrings if you wanted to. Now, I'm going to confess. I don't really like animals. You can have them. You can love them. I can see the purpose of them because they are nice to pet. I just don't want one. So, I don't want any kitty earring necklaces. But, I know a lot of people do, and that's fine for you. I have enough kids in my life. I don't need animals. You know how some people, it's that they're fur mommy. They're a fur mommy or something. And my grand, all my kids have dogs. My grandkids all have dogs. I understand, but I don't want any. It's like another chore. Get up and I have to babysit them sometimes. And you have to get up and open the door and let them out. You got to buy their food. You got to clean up their messes. I've been cleaning up kids' messes for years. And I don't want to anymore. So that's why I don't have any. And I want to travel. What do you do with your animal when you travel? You got to find a babysitter, pay for boarding. The boarding of the animal costs as much as your plane ticket. My ex-husband, that's what he did. He had to board his animals. And I'm like... If I had to board the animals and pay $500, I wouldn't get to go on vacation or whatever. I don't know what he did. But anyway, and my son, he has two, those King Charles dogs. They're darling, beautiful. But I don't want one because, and then they paid a lot for them. If they get run over or hit by a car, you're out of money and you're sad. It dies, you're sad. No, I don't want an animal, so... My husband has fish, that's enough. If they die, we didn't even name them all, so if they die, we don't care, we don't cry. All right, have a fun Timu haul for you. I have three more packages, but I can't wait for my husband to try on that suit. I will make a video of it. We're gonna see what Timu suits are like.